Hello friends, good morning. In my last lecture, I had started with the third unit that is traveling waves. In my first lecture, I had explained the different terms associated with the term tra tra traveling waves. The terms were surge, transient, transient response, traveling wave, incident wave, reflected wave, transmitted wave, surge impedance, velocity of propagation, phase constant, attenuation constant, then propagation constant and lossless line. In this video lecture, I will derive the basic expression for reflected and transmitted voltage as well as reflected and transmitted current in terms of incident voltage and current respectively. So, let us start with the derivation. So, this is the circuit. This is the point where voltage and current will be injected. It can be lightning over voltage or it can be switching over voltage. So, when it is injected, this is as good as closing of this switch. Zn is surge impedance of the line and Zt is the terminating impedance. So, in terms of surge impedance of the line and terminating impedance at the receiving end and incident voltage and current, we will derive the expression. Now, as per our definition, the transmitted voltage that is denoted by V double dash is equal to V that is incident wave plus V dash that is reflected wave. Similarly, I double dash is the transmitted current wave. This is equal to incident current wave plus reflected current wave that is I dash. Now, we substitute I double dash in terms of the voltage and terminating impedance. I double dash will be flowing in this terminating impedance. So, here the voltage is V double dash. So, V double dash divided by Zt is the transmitted current. Similarly, I is equal to incident voltage divided by surge impedance of the line and I dash is the reflected current. So, it will be minus of this. So, V dash upon Zn. Now, V double dash upon Zt, we can write as V minus V dash upon Zn. So, V double dash upon Zt is equal to V minus V dash, V dash we are substituting or replacing by V double dash minus V. So, this is V double dash minus V in place of V dash. So, this is the expression after simplification. And finally, we get the expression V double dash, V double dash is equal to 2 times Zt divided by Zt plus Zn into V. So, this is the expression for transmitted voltage wave in terms of terminating impedance and surge impedance of the line and incident voltage wave. Then after substituting V dash in terms of V double dash and V, we get this expression that is reflected voltage wave is equal to Zt minus Zn upon Zt plus Zn into incident voltage wave. Now, this part that is 2Zt upon Zt plus Zn we denote by gamma subscript V superscript T and that is called as coefficient of transmission for voltage wave. This is, this is coefficient of transmission for voltage wave and in terms of V double dash we can write coefficient of transmission for voltage wave multiplied by incident voltage wave. Similarly, this gamma V superscript R represents reflected coefficient for voltage wave and V dash is equal to reflected coefficient for voltage wave multiplied by incident voltage wave. So, these are the expressions for transmitted voltage wave and reflected voltage wave. On <coughs> by proper substitution, we can derive the expressions for I double dash that is transmitted voltage wave and reflected sorry transmitted current wave and reflected current wave. So, here equal to sign is missing. So, I double dash will be equal to twice Zn upon Zn plus Zt into I. So, this is the expression for transmitted current in terms of surge impedance, terminating impedance and current. And this is the expression for reflected current Zn minus Zt upon Zn plus Zt into I. And this is nothing but gamma I R into capital I. So, this gamma gamma R I is nothing but reflection coefficient for current and this <coughs> gamma Ti is transmission coefficient for current. 
सो वेन एवर वी राइट गैमा इट इज ट्रांसमिशन और रिफ्लेक्शन को एफिशियंट इफ सुपर स्क्रिप्ट इज टी देन इट इज ट्रांसमिशन को एफिशियंट इफ इट इज आर इट इज रिफ्लेक्शन को एफिशियंट इफ सब्सक्रिप्ट इज आई इट इज फॉर करंट एंड इफ सब्सक्रिप्ट इज बी देन इट इज फॉर वोल्टेज एंड दीज आर दी एक्सप्रेशन फॉर ट्रांसमिशन को एफिशियंट फॉर वोल्टेज रिफ्लेक्टेड रिफ्लेक्शन को एफिशियंट फॉर वोल्टेज ट्रांसमिशन को एफिशियंट फॉर करंट एंड रिफ्लेक्शन को एफिशियंट फॉर करंट नाउ हियर we consider different terminating cases that is different cases for zt these cases will divide into basically into two categories number 1 when zt is pure resistance with different types of connection and second this zt involves energy storing element that is either l or c or l as well as c so first we consider that zt is pure resistance the first case is line end is short circuited line end is short circuited means zt is zero so in this expression if we substitute zt is equal to zero then transmission coefficient for voltage will be zero Ref reflection coefficient for voltage will be minus 1 transmission coefficient for current will be 2 and reflection coefficient for current will be 1 it means If line end is short circuited, the transmitted voltage is zero. Reflected voltage is negative of incident voltage. Transmitted current is double of incident volt, incident current, and reflected current is same as incident current. So these are the results when terminating impedance is zero. That is, line end is short circuited. Second case, line end is open. That is, ZT is equal to infinity. So in this, we take out for ZT common. Then ZT ZT will get cancelled, and by proper substitution or simplification, we get transmission coefficient for voltage is equal to two. So V double dash is equal to twice V. It means reflected voltage will be double of incident voltage. Then reflected voltage is the reflection reflection coefficient of reflection for voltage is unity. It means whatever. is incident voltage wave that is same as 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 reflected voltage wave then coefficient of transmission for for current is coming zero it means current is that is transmitted current is zero and reflected current coefficient is coming minus 1 it means reflected current is equal to negative of incident current so these are the results when line is open circuited that is zt is infinity next case is line terminated into surge impedance means whatever is zn that is surge impedance zt is also equal to zn so in this basic coefficient equations we substitute zt is equal to zn when we substitute zt is equal to zn we get transmission coefficient for voltage is unity so v double dash is equal to v it means whatever voltage is incident that is same as transmitted voltage wave it means the voltage wave will go into terminating impedance as it is reflection coefficient for voltage is zero so v double da v dash that is reflected voltage is zero means there will be no reflection then gamma ti that is transmission coefficient for current is unity so whatever is i that is same as i double dash reflection coefficient for current is zero so whatever is so there is no reflection for the current it means <coughs> it means when zt is equal to zn that is line is terminated with surge impedance of the line that is called as surge impedance loading in that case there is no reflection for the voltage as well as current wave and transmitted voltage and current wave will be same as incident voltage and current wave respectively so this phenomena is utilized when we have to avoid the reflection and that is useful in designing the circuit for impulse voltage measurement and impulse volt voltage recording next is okay so this much is sufficient for today today's lecture remaining cases i will discuss in my next lecture friends if you feel this video lecture useful then please like it ask your friends colleagues and your juniors to subscribe to my channel
for upcoming video lectures on switch gear and protection and high voltage engineering if you want to make efficient and effective use of time then read my book on time management the link for the book is given in the description box i have launched a very useful course for the students on udemy the title of the course is boost your learning and become top achiever this course is specifically useful for the students who are preparing for entrance and competitive exams the link for the course is also given in the description box thank you